welcome back to my youtube channel i hope everybody's doing well today today is going to be a very chill day but i feel like taking a walk and going to that joint remember from back 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 then months back i found a joint where they sell really fresh fruit and vegetables so i'm really in the mood of just taking a walk there and getting a few supplies and we'll see where the rest of the day goes from there someone on twitter raised a very valid point once they usually said guys what's the difference between amasi and plain yogurt <laughs> because now they're like charging us exorbitant prices for plain yogurt but what's the difference between that and amasi amasi is so so affordable and cheap but plain yogurt would be like you yeah. <laughs> yeah listen i was a spoiled hand okay <laughs> my granddads may they continue resting in peace they always used to have a fresh, fresh amasi hotze kochayo from the cow, not even store bought in the house. And yeah, like, even though I'm lactose intolerant, I used to drink that and not even have a single problem. So I don't know. I think it's the store bought stuff that's giving us issues, guys. What do you think? I feel like I'm committing a crime when they put sugar in this. <laughs> But I'm in the mood for the one with sugar today, so here goes nothing. My heart was broken and I learned that this was man-made. <laughs> Some pecan nuts. Yo, the sweet potato is literally as big as yams. <laughs> it's a fruit. Hikey feels like a hike. Also, it's so hot. Yo. Quick, quick haul. Got my absolute favorite fruit in the world. I love nectarines, guys. I think I'm actually gonna have one right now. Got some ananas, pineapple. So excited about that. Uh, oh no, I bust these open. A mistake. Got some green beans. I want to make a chicken stew tonight, and I'm craving for green beans. Something very fresh and healthy. Some broccoli because I love the taste of broccoli. And last but not least, it's blueberry season. Ah! I actually wanted to bake something with these, but then I got back home and I realized that I actually don't have a lot of baking supplies. So we'll need to go to the shops again and buy the baking supplies that I don't have. But yeah, it's blueberry season, guys. My favorite time of year. So excited. I really, really want to chow this, yo. I love blueberry goodies, like blueberry muffins, like if you make a bread, a loaf as well, oof, yes, then you have it with like tea, yo, mouth is already watering, anyway, I'm gonna put the stuff away, relax, because I actually walked like 5,000, if not 6,000 steps already, and it's not even end of day, so <laughs> what do we mean, I'm so tired. <sighs> But I'm proud of myself. I actually didn't think I was going to move this off because it's actually quite a strap. <laughs> to be very honest. So yeah. I'm gonna pack this stuff away now. Rest a bit and then get to cooking. Get to cooking dinner later. Because I feel like it's a bit too early to cook dinner now actually. Yeah, it's like 3 p.m. And what I wanna make, like chicken stew and rice, doesn't take even an hour for me. So yeah. And I want to eat it around 6 p.m. somewhere there. So yeah, maybe I'll start cooking at 5. I'm going to go relax now, take a nap maybe, and just chill. I'm going to have to actually start cooking now, which is like quarter past 4 p.m. Because load shedding. Yeah. <laughs> Lot of butter from my rice, yo. <laughs> In one of the chicken rice packs, they put this little seasoning pack. Yo, it smells so good. Yep. 
Ucapa? Ucap dan belum bagus Ucapa? Ucap Din Din is ready Guess what? Load shedding is happening again in literally a few minutes So I'm going to just hurry up and round this video up Because, yeah Guys, why do they keep doing this to us? Huh? Why do they keep doing this to us? I I can't do this. Load shedding is just the absolute pits. I literally have to change my schedule for my uploads and everything. <sighs> just to work around the time of load shedding. Like, it's that hectic. But it is what it is. I just am dreading the time that, imagine you need to do like Zoom meetings, Zoom calls and stuff that you can't miss, absolutely cannot miss, and they're doing this whole load shedding thing. How are we going to be like, ah, oh, sorry, I've got load shedding, can you please reschedule to like 5 p.m., for example? Yo, that is so ghetto. Anyway, um, I think these cornrows have served their time now. I wish my auntie lived close to me, guys, so that I can just go and get my hair done again, because I'm a firm believer. Believer, oh. I am a firm believer in the fact that you can't just let anybody touch your hair. I've got the same hairdresser from the time I was in high school till I finished. And even in uni, she was still doing my hair. Like, I would go see her, get my hair done, then go to uni. And in uni, I had the same hairdresser. I don't play. So... Yeah, I really struggle to find a new person to do my hair every time I move to a new country and stuff. I remember in Qatar, I literally wore wigs the whole time. I went there with braids, took them out after like two months because, yeah, <laughs> not less braids have to come out, guys, and wash your hair and do them again. Otherwise, breakage is real. And then after that, I was a wig babe. You know how like we always say, mm, wigs are so hot in summer you can't be doing wigs ah me i managed guys and Qatar is really 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 hot so yeah it's doable just thinking to myself right now what do i want to do do i want to do knotless braids and also who's going to do the knotless braids because my aunt is far from me remember i told you in the previous vlogs also that i washed my wigs and i just left them because you know obviously i was going to get my hair done but yeah I want to become like a full-on wig babe like install the whole gluing down thing not just <laughs> putting them on and hoping for the best yeah i want to glue them down because i've got the got to be glue so it shouldn't be that difficult <sighs> but then the thing with that my installs you have to continue putting adding more glue and stuff because it might lift and yeah a wig that lifts is just not cute. So I'm thinking of doing that. What do you think, guys? Please comment down below. Not less braids. Should I just bite the bullet and find someone to do not less braids? Or we do the wigs thing. That will mean I'll have to take out my braids. Because they are even at the back, you see. Ingrown hair. Not ingrown hair, but what, what, what? What does, what's the word for this? Where the hair is grown and yeah. Like, and my skin is just not skinning right now. I think it's because of the heat from today, the walk. Yeah. Let me show you the wig that I want to wear. So I want to install this one. So it's 16 inches. And yeah, I'm thinking that when I go get my cornrows done, right? I'm going to ask them to talk because I love that tongue that they use in the silence you know the ones from back in the day like it's a steel thingy and then you put the tongue wait for it to cool down a bit because it's too hot you can't put it on your hair straight away otherwise it'll burn yeah i want that one <laughs> so that the curls can sit for quite a long time and then after that i'll just be using flexi rods then i actually want to install myself like putting the whole glue shebang because I don't know how to do that. I feel like it's about time that I started to learn. Yeah. What do you guys think? Box braids? Not box braids. Not less braids. Or we become a frontal baddie. 
I'm leaning closer to frontal daddy, to be very honest with y'all. Like, yeah, like I want to be a frontal daddy this summer. I'm not even playing games with any of (laughs) y'all. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm just going to wait for this low shading. Also, last night, they tuned. The power is going to dip from 10 p.m. to midnight. Guys, midnight came and went. The power came back this morning at 9 a.m. So I'm kind of scared, like, okay, what if it goes again now at 8 p.m. and then they do the whole shebang again, like, 12 hours. Ah, yeah. Anyway, I'm sure y'all are sick of hearing me talking about this low shading business. But anyway, please comment down below, guys, because I really cannot decide. However, I am leaning more to frontal closures, wigs, installing wigs. Because <laughs> I just changed you guys. Can't be walking around looking like this. Yeah, I think I need to switch it up and look like a baddie.